What is up, guys? It's George again. I'm back again. Uh, this time to review my own club. The day this game was played, I, I swear I wasn't going to watch this game. I swear I wasn't going to watch this game. And I didn't watch this game. Uh, but, like, I was... I was, I was gaming on few I was gaming uh, on my PlayStation uh, then um, I got score updates I saw I saw when we were down one nil I saw when we were down when we were down by uh, two nil I think Bernardo Silva scored no oh, was it that Silva I'm not sure but yeah we lost and uh, since we've been on a on a poor run of form I haven't watched any of our games I haven't tried I haven't I haven't even watched any of these games because um, it's, it's been poor. It's, it's been absolutely poor. It's been bad. It's been bad. We couldn't score any goal against Barcelona. We couldn't, we couldn't do nothing. We couldn't do nothing. This dude behind me, if he wants to go, he can go. I, I, I don't care anymore. I don't care. If he wants to leave, leave. But yeah, let's get straight into it. This dude doesn't even deserve to be here. Doesn't deserve to be in this club right now. Chris What is Chris Molling doing in my defense? What is Chris Molling doing in my defense? Matthew Damian. Oh. Liverpool has Van Dijk in defense. And I have Chris Molling. Chris Molling. Alexis Sanchez is on 500,000 pounds per week. 500,000 pounds per week. He's on the bench. He scored one Premier League goal this season. I'm, I think it was a penalty, I'm not sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was a penalty. <laughs> You're on 500,000 pounds per week. You're on 500,000 pounds per week. He scored one goal this Premier League season. One goal. Chris Mullin. Chris Mullin. That shot was hot. He's good at that stuff. Those deep in shots. He's really good at that. I thought he struggled in the two games against Barcelona, struggled at Everton, but he looks back to his best in this first 20 minutes, Marcus Rashford. He's looking to be a provider this time. Lindelof gets his head to it. Come on, Pogba. Struggle for this ball. Aguero, come to Sterling. Raheem Sterling. And De Gea keeps it out and doesn't fumble it into the path of Aguero, who's hoping for a tap-in. City's best moment, really, in attack, but they can't round it off with the opening goal. It was brilliant from David Silva. Out. It really was. His little pass there, just down the side towards Aguero. And once he gets in there, Sterling... The threat has grown as this first half has gone on. But Aguero hasn't got to the accuracy there that he saw. 
It's a lovely ball for David Silva. For Sane looking for a great... Bernardo Silva to his left foot. And oh. It's a priceless goal for Manchester City. Never mind whether it's a derby or not. It's a game that has to be won. To keep alive their hopes of retaining the Premier League title. They were finding their feet towards the end of the first half. They found a goal early in the second half. Well, I said he had a disappointing first half. Bernardo Silva giving away the ball. Quite a lot for him. But what a moment for him. City had just got on top. The football was starting to come. They're passing through midfield. They're getting into the pockets. And he's one-on-one -on -one with Luke Shaw. Doesn't need to beat him. He just uses him as a shield. The fans are still singing. Shows you the kind of fans we've got, but this club, they need to be changed from the top. From the top. We can't keep changing coaches every year. There needs to be, there needs to be a change from the top. There to be a change. God, Chris Mullin and the likes. United have played a good game. Tactically, they've been good. Towards Lingard, comes back to Rashford and Lingard. Oh. He missed it. Rashford put his oh. to his left. And Sano with space to take aim and score. David De Gea got a piece of it but couldn't keep it out. And that could be the goal. What? Go for him! Well, we've just seen Leroy Sané's numbers in front of our eyes on that graphic a couple of moments ago. The gear, come on. Oh, God. Use your hand. He's good with his legs, but sometimes use your hand. Use your hand. You're a goalkeeper. Use your hand. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Mistake. You're a goalkeeper. I know you're you're good with your feet, but use your hands. Dive. Do something. Look at what he's doing. People like this justify the rubbish we're seeing on FIFA every single year. FIFA 19 is the guy justifying what we're seeing on FIFA. It's trash. Come on, man. He can't even score a goal. He can't even score it. 4 0 against Everton. Done. I ain't watching this rubbish no more. I ain't watching this rubbish no more. I'm done with this club, bro. I'm done with this club, man. I'm actually getting tired of this club. I'm actually getting tired of this club. We lost against Wolves. We lost against Wolves. We lost against Barcelona. We lost against Everton. Four nil against Everton. Four nil. <coughs> Come on, bro. Tell me something's not wrong. We've not scored a goal since. This one against Barcelona. There needs to be a change. There needs to be a change. Something needs to change. Let's go. I can't keep. Sure. There needs to be a change. I can't. I can't keep punishing myself watching this team like this, you know. Something's gotta change. I can't, man. I can't. It's bad. Look at Liverpool. Just look at Liverpool. Robertson's better, I'm not sure. Van Dijk is better than every single defender in Man United. Trent Alexander Arnold is in the PFA team of the year. Trent Alexander Arnold, I'm older than that dude. He's in the PFA team of the year. Something needs to change. Something needs to change drastically at this club. It's, it's all gone wrong. It's all gone wrong at this club. For real. But yeah, that's it guys. Catch you guys in the next one. Please leave a like and subscribe.